with Saurav Mittal, Managing Director and CEO at Greenland. The stock currently trading at 666 rupees. If you take a look at the numbers, revenues were down about 8%. PAT was down 34%. EBITDA margin has come in at 12.2% in the third quarter. Mr. Mittal, many thanks for joining us this afternoon on NDTV. Was a tough quarter for Greenland? Yes, it, it was a tough quarter, and you can see the results. Uh, so, you know, we were down uh, 8% sales. The domestic sales were actually down by 10%. And uh, obviously, the, the reduction in sales led to a reduction on the EBITDA margins uh, in terms of value and percent, because most of the costs are fixed after the raw materials. So, yes, it was challenging uh, on the revenue side. However, on, on the working capital uh, side also, we, we slipped a bit because of high inventory. Again, that took poor sales. The collections were, you know, uh, the debtors' collections were actually, uh, they improved a bit. So, so by and large, I would say, yes, it was challenging. Yeah. Uh, so if we had to break down the factors uh, at play in the quarter, I mean, we all know the national event, demonetization, and that played out predominantly? I would say that would be the primary reason, you know, uh, because post the demonetization for, for nearly a week, 10 days, and a lot of our uh, orders were postponed, you know, dealers didn't want to lift inventory. So I think, I think that was a challenging uh, point and, and a period, yes. You know, I think that, um, you know, uh, everyone's interested in the recovery. Sure. And uh, if you can give us a sense of how that recovery is playing out, I, you know, potentially it's, uh, um, uh, you know, tougher to, to uh, talk about recovery in your sector, but perhaps I'm wrong. Uh, so can you just point us towards the recovery uh, trajectory? Yeah, so if you, if you look at uh, you know the impact on our sector, uh, as far as we're concerned, we think it's been positive for us because we do have a large uh, unorganized segment across the product categories in laminates, veneers, flooring, and doors, while we do have a fair share of exports also. So so from that perspective, I think the demonetization uh, you know um, impact uh, and the potential uh, GSD you know getting implemented in July, I, I think both these will be big triggers for our business. And as we talked now, you know, January, I think, was a, you could say was a, was a normalized month in terms of uh, sales and collections. While the macro still remains challenging uh, in our sector, sector, but with the unorganized you know, players you know, uh, finding it more difficult, so I think we will probably gain market share. But I think the overall industry will, will still face pressure for the next couple of quarters. Okay, and that's a valid point that, you know, both uh, demonetization and GST are going to be uh, favorable for the organized sector. But you talked about, you know, well, somewhat tentatively you described normalcy in January. Uh, where are you putting more of your focus? Is it still on the collection side, or is that an issue that's done and dusted? Uh, actually, you know, uh, collections, we are, we are fairly, you know, um, um, under control with our data days actually improving. So I, I think that's, uh, that's going to be fairly constant. The attention is to uh, build the sales, you know, bring in some more focus on the projects and the commercial segment too. So, so really the energy is being spent to build the sales and build the revenues and you know, look at further uh, you know, areas of uh, opportunities in the marketplace. I mean, normal is a relative term, but I did want to get uh, a sense from you that given the, de uh, the budget is also right. out of the way, right. um, do we say next fiscal, uh, it's uh, you know, back to absolutely normal? I just wanted a few more concrete indicators which suggest how this uh, January to March is looking to you. So I think January to March, if you look at the laminates business, which is a core business, you could assume it will be back to absolutely normal. If that's what you wouldn't know. Um, on, on, the, on the veneer, flooring and doors too, uh, you know, the, the base has been quite small. So I think, you know, uh, really, you know, uh, the, uh, the new businesses... You know, ha have other challenges besides the demonetization. Demonetization also was a challenge. So there too, I think you could you could assume that things will be you know back to normal within this quarter. Okay. And where personally are you directing your energies uh, in you know uh, these days? So well, what are you focusing most on? Well, that's a tough question, but I could say you know largely uh, it's it's really on the on the revenue side and you know on building the markets and working with the sales and marketing teams too. You know, ensure that the revenues happen. I, I think that's where the energy is being spent because our infrastructure in terms of capacities, product development, uh, the expansions moving on schedule uh, at the Himachal plant. So really, the energy is being spent on, you know, ensuring that the revenues, you know, uh, you know come in as per the targets. Okay. Yep. So, Mitchell, many thanks for your time. Thank Good you to so talk much. to you today, and all the best in the months ahead as uh, Green Lamb uh, gets back into gear, uh, full gear. Well.